Hi, welcome to Greg Space Shed. I've got a really brilliant lesson this week covering five reggae bass lines. I find that reggae bass lines are really accessible to play because they're usually quite simple and repetitive. But at the same time, they're really satisfying to play and they really drive the songs along. So make sure you subscribe to my channel here, my Greg Space Shed channel on YouTube. Um, you can do that by clicking the subscribe button. <laughs> The first song we're going to look at is Uptown Top Ranking. This is a really great tune and one of my favourite reggae tunes and it uses a four bar repetitive pattern. Make sure you check out and listen to all the songs that I cover in this video um, if you don't know them and you can also play along, play the bass lines with the songs. I've taken the riff from the verse here, um, it's slightly different on the intro but you'll be able to hear that. So for the verse we start with our first finger on A on the E string, so the 5th fret and then we're going to use A and E and E is the 5th. So if we move along 2 frets and down a string we get the 5th. Um, so that's the 5th, so A and E, so we've got Three, four, and then we move down two frets. And then back again. Play with me. So that's quite a simple bass line, but really effective in the song. Next we'll move on to Freedom Song by Ken Booth. Again, this is another absolute classic with a brilliant bass line. The bass line has a lot of space in it and it sits really well with the tune. So I'm playing this lesson on my P bass. Um, this is an old bass that I had at school actually. I've had it for years and I put a new neck on it um, and new pickups and bare knuckle pickups. Um, but I'm using the P bass because it was used a lot in reggae. Um, and I've got flat round strings as well, which will give that kind of dull thud sound. And also I'll use my thumb for some of the bass lines. Again, that was used a lot in reggae. So, so it's quite a different sound. So practice using your thumb. And I'm gonna do a lesson actually on thumb technique, um, using your thumb and muting. So you kind of mute with this side of the hand. For this bass line there are two main sections so we'll look at the first one. So the pattern starts on F first and um, then it's up to an A flat, a B flat and back to F. So to start with we've got a pick up into a bar of F. So F's there, so that's the third fret of the D string and then the F which is an octave lower, the first fret of the E string. So we're doing C, E flat, C, F. Four. 
And then we're doing a pick up into A flat. And the A flat is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth fret of the D string. So F, F, G, A flat. And then down to an E flat, which is the fifth. But we're playing it below, but it's the fifth. The fifth of A flat. So F, G, A flat, E flat. And I use, I jump up, so first finger on G. So we're going to start from the beginning and just play those first four measures. One, two, three. And then from there we do a pick up to the B flat. So. So we use a fifth a lot in reggae bass lines. So B flat and the fifth F. So rest at the beginning of the bar so it's a bit more of a tricky rhythm and we're using F the fifth C down to F so that whole bar we just use these three notes so we've got the pick up Okay, so we'll play those eight measures. So from the beginning, so one, two, three. second to thumb bar so on the second repeat we miss out the first time bar and we go to the second time bar so the pick up into the second time bar so that's the seventh instead of we've got so seventh fifth and at the end of that second time bar we've got one note to C so the pick up into the second time bar C on four at the end of the second time bar. Okay, so we'll try that whole of that first section. We'll go first at the end to the first time bar, repeat, and then to the second time bar. One, two, three. Thank you. 
Okay, so we'll move on to the second section. A little bit easier, this second section. So we've got two bars of B flat, a bar of F, a bar of C, a bar of B flat, a bar of F, a bar of F, and two bars of C. Well, sort of C with an uh, D flat. So we'll look at the start of this second section. So one. And we've got this rhythm here, one, do 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 Join with me. So that's just on the B flat, so first fret of the A string, and then on the F and C, C, F, C. So from the B flat from the beginning, one. So until we get those last two um, bars, the rhythm stays the same. So we've got B flat, then F, C, F, B flat, F, B flat, F, D flat, C, D flat, C, D flat, C, G, C, and back to F. Okay. So we'll try, and there's a pickup. Uh, so one, two, three, four, into the fifth bar of that section, there's a pickup. So that's F. So the first time we play it around, we just play the B flat. And the second time. Okay, so we'll play the whole of that section. Three, four, one. When it repeats after that, it goes to the second bar. Um, we don't do that pick up. Okay, so that should be the whole of that of Freedom Day. Um, it's probably the trickiest one we've got actually on this lesson. Um, so work through that and especially work through that on the PDF. It's got tab on there as well. Um, and it really helps if you see that written down um, to look at the rhythms. Um, so see how you get on with that. The third bass line is Stir It Up from Bob Marley. Now I found it really hard to pick a Bob Marley song and there's so many good tunes, so many good bass lines and he was probably the, the most popular um, reggae artist over here. Um, so I'll probably make a lesson actually of um, five of his top bass lines um, but today we'll look at Stir It Up. So I'll play that for you now. So we start on an A on the E string with our second finger. So A, C sharp, C sharp, D, C sharp. With me, three, four. And if you're struggling to play with your thumb, then just use your fingers. Definitely a nicer sound with the thumb, but it's, uh, it'll sound good with your fingers. And then moving on. So, that's an arpeggio there on D. So, root 
third, fifth, and then an arpeggio here on E. It's actually, you can play it like there, but it's easier to play the same position, to play that B there instead of there. So. And we're going from the C sharp first, and then from the D. So we've made three, four. Again. And it's useful to think about these arpeggio shapes just so you can remember the bass line. So we play the whole of those two bars. Three, four. Okay, so that's the first section, and then the second section, we're going to use some open strings here. So it's the same pattern on each string, so we're using A, B, C sharp, A. So open, two, four, open, two, and then next string, and then again, back again. So this just repeats this section again. So with me, three, four. And that's the two main sections of Stir It Up. So look at those separately, um, repeat each section round, and then you'll have the whole song. Next, we'll move on to Regimilatis by Peter Tosh. Um, I think the prize goes out to the best title here. Um, and it's a great bass line. Again, we've got a two bar pattern that repeats round and round. So I'll show you the main groove. And like a lot of these reggae bass lines, it varies each time, um, each time it's played. So little riffs are put in. Um, little licks at the end and slightly varied, but I'll show you the main riff and then you can play that. And then you can experiment and listen to the record and um, put some of those lines in and try your own lines as well once you know this basic pattern. Now the way I play this is I start with my little finger on B flat on the E string. So B flat, C, E flat, C. So B flat is uh, fret number six, C is fret number three, and E flat, fret number six. B flat, A flat. So join in. And then here I shift down with my second finger to the A flat. So A flat, C, E flat, C, E flat. Join in. And then at the end. into the um, back into the two bar loop comes on four so two three four so make 
make sure you get that space right in between so you can count through um, to help you with that. So play it with me. Three, four. So that's it, that's the main groove for Regga Malatis. Um, so have a listen through and like I said before, see if you can experiment and put um, some different feels into that groove. Last of all, I'll show you the bass line to Promised Land from Dennis Brown. Now this bass line's really interesting, it's got an effect on it. it. Sounds to me a bit like an envelope filter or maybe it's got a couple effects on it. But that's a bit more unusual for reggae to have that sound. But don't worry, the bass line sounds great um, without the effect as well, um, if you just want to play through at home. This line is a four bar groove, so we've got a bar of D and then half a bar of A, half a bar of C. So if we start with our little finger on D, so the fifth fret of the A string, so we use D, F, G, A, C, D. This is just the first two measures. Join in with me. And then the next two measures, this is the same. And I'll use the open A there, just so I can get down to the C. So open the A, C, F. Open A, C, F. So those last two measures. Open, and then back up to the D. We'll just do those last two measures round and round. We'll now do the whole bass line. Three. So you'll now be able to play with Promised Land um, that just repeats round and round. Well I hope you enjoyed my choice of bass lines and for those of you that don't listen to much reggae I hope I've shown you how brilliant these bass lines are and what fun they are to play. Let me know if you want me to do any more reggae lines um, and if you've got any suggestions I'd love to hear them. Remember to pick up the PDF for this lesson which has tab as well and you can get that by clicking the link in the description below. You might also want to check out gregspaceshed.com that's my website I've got all the videos up there and I've got loads more free base resources um, and if you sign up to my mailing list on the front page I'll send you an ebook that has all the PDFs from my first 50 videos so this is a really useful thing to have. Remember to subscribe to me here on YouTube you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram all the details are below in the description and um, please like and share this video. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed I'll see you in the next lesson. <laughs>